Among the many great places to explore in our community, this is the one that captures our imaginations like no other. It's a place of learning, a place of discovery, a place of wonder. The Katofer Animal Building stands as a reminder that the Miller Park Zoo, established in 1891, has been part of our community for more than a hundred years. People who grew up visiting our zoo as children bring their children to the zoo today to bond with the animals and with each other. Well, it's basically my home. I grew up coming here, so to be able to take my children here, um, it's awesome. It's one of the best feelings ever to know that this is where I came as a child and now I get to bring these guys here. It really goes back to a quality life and, and being able to do things with our kids without having to travel a lot. Exposes them to animals, things that you might see in a book you can actually see here at the zoo right five, ten minutes from your own home. First time I remember coming, I think I was four. And I loved looking at that time. There were some bears here. There were lots of monkeys. It was a lot of fun. It's such a wonderful feature for our community. It's a great place for kids and adults to learn about other animals, to see endangered species that they wouldn't see otherwise, and to develop an appreciation for conservation. Ozzy is nine, so Uga is two, and they matured about two and a half, so they're both about our zoo takes an active role in educating both children and adults. Since 1972, the Junior Zookeeper Program has nurtured personal and professional interest in animals and their care. I've grown up with the zoo. I've been here since I started Animal Crackers when I was like three, I believe. It's just always been an important part of my life and it taught me how to like love and like respect animals and wanting to work with them and why it's so important. At the end of fifth grade, I started the JZK program, and I went through all that. For, it was from fifth grade to the end, like the summer before you leave for college. When I was little, I wanted to be a vet. Being a junior zookeeper, it showed another side of it that I liked more. Now I'm studying zoology. Um, I'm specializing in animal bi biology and wildlife biology, but eventually I want to be an ornithologist, which is working with birds, doing research on them. Junior zookeepers pass their love of animals down to the next generation of zookeepers by teaching classes and inviting children to get up close and personal with the gentle creatures who share our world. Zookeepers, veterinarians, staff, and volunteers give guests a daily taste of what it takes to care for the animals who call Miller Park Zoo their home. It's a labor of love for both the animals and their caregivers. We care about animals and we care about their welfare both in the wild and in captivity. So I think it's important to know that we're all together and we're all in on it together and that the welfare of zoo animals is actually better than the welfare in some free ranging and wild uh, populations. Zoos provide that living museum and that the more people that can experience that museum, that education, the more passion that you can instill, the more conservation and the more good you can do across the world. The eagles at Miller Park Zoo are a great example of this. Injured in the wild, they can no longer fly, but they thrive at the zoo and give school children the opportunity to view these symbols of our nation up close. And then there's just the pleasure of enjoying the fun of our zoo, a place where families can truly spend quality time together. I could bring both the kids and usually not have to bring a stroller and they'll get exercise, they'll just run and play. It has brought so much learning on the different animals. I mean, we could come here and I'll ask, okay, where do you guys want to go first? Instead of just pointing, they say, let's go by the wallabies or let's see the meerkats or we want to pet the goat. The best thing I ever did was buy our family membership. We have the zoo pass, which is very affordable for our family, so it, it really gives us an affordable opportunity to come out and enjoy all the wonderful animals. And I think Will's favorite exhibit is right here with the turtles. He uh, always asks us to see the turtles, right? Yep. <laughs> the 
The Miller Park Zoo has grown exponentially since opening the doors of the Katofa building in 1914. Today, about 100,000 people visit the zoo from the local community each year, and like any attraction, the zoo needs maintenance and development. You know, we have exhibits here that were made, are made of wood, were built the last three to four years, maybe five, and we're on year 13, we're on year 14. We're, we're, we're pretty much out of time for some of these exhibits. Updating these aging exhibits is part of a 15-year master plan for the Miller Park Zoo. In addition to maintenance, the plan will help our zoo become more than a local attraction. The Miller Park Zoo of tomorrow will be a destination for guests from regional communities, guests who will support our local economy. As we build up the master plan, everything we're thinking about is long-term. So we'll build exhibits that are, will be around for years for people to enjoy. We are a member of the community. We're an asset for the community. We've been here since 1891. We feel with the match plan, we're really going to take us to the next level. We believe our tenants can grow by a certain percentage by every single project. Um, and it'll grow up to 150,000 people uh, by the time we're done with the first couple phases. To make Miller Park Zoo a destination, plans include organizing exhibits by regions of the world, Tomorrow's path through the zoo will help guests more easily identify where our animals' cousins are found in the wild, and unlike today, the experience will begin the moment you walk through the doors. Improvements to exhibits will begin in the first phase of the master plan. Among them, a new underwater viewing area will give guests a nose-to-nose -nose view of our playful seals and otters add stadium seating for educational demonstrations, in addition to new exhibits for giant anteaters, Galapagos tortoises, and Tyra, and you begin to see the big picture. We're going to go as much naturalistic as possible, so you'll see more natural behaviors, you'll see more natural habitats that uh, typically you'd hopefully find in a wild. Needless to say, there will be additional creature comforts for the animals but the comfort and safety of our guests will also be upgraded throughout the phases of the plan. People will no longer be required to cross a road to enter the zoo, which has been a safety concern. All dead-end paths will be eliminated in the zoo. A new concession stand, a second ticket booth, and a larger gift shop will serve guests. But back to the animals. Part of the plan is to add new animals to the zoo, animals you won't find at other zoos in this area. It's very unique because uh, we did a search of the area, a uh, uh, 300 mile radius of animals that are in other zoos, animals that were not in those zoos. So, uh, greater flamingos, anteaters, pudu, which is the smallest deer, uh, also bring bush dog, and tyra, which is an another unique animal. Preserving wildlife and the environment are paramount concerns for all of us. When you support Miller Park Zoo, an accredited member of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, you support excellent animal care and a better future for all living things. We're very fortunate to have the zoo we have. Uh, the support that we have from, this, from the city, from the town, from the area is very amazing and that's what we need to help continue to grow. I'm really excited about what the master plan is going to do for the zoo and I, even for the community. The zoo is an asset for, the, for this community. Understanding that we have needs of exhibits that are starting to, to show their age. Uh, we want to grow and build exhibits that are better for the animals, better for the guests to uh, experience. To be able to see new animals coming in keeps us coming back and keeps exposing our children to, to new stuff. So adding on to the zoo just gives more opportunities for different children of all ages and our families to come and do more things here at the zoo. I think it's important because we want to see our zoo continue to grow, continue to survive, continue to educate others on conservation. And really the best gift that we could give our kids is a passion for anything. But the passion to save the world, I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't buy that stuff. Please support Miller Park Zoo's plans to grow. Join the zoo, donate to the zoo, bring your friends and family or volunteer. When you help our zoo grow, your support will come back to you in an ever more wonderful place to commune with nature, continued care for these beautiful animals, and a stronger community for you, your family and friends, and for generations to come. We love the zoo!